familiar music. Here's the family photo album. Goes way back. A physical photo album in this day and age. Feels like it'd turn and turn to dust if I open it. It's quaint, but I guess they like having something they can touch. Look through it if you want. I'll go check on my father. I should go get a machine ready too. My colleague will be back soon. But I'll check this out for a bit first. It does look like the kid from、uh, a bird story. Okay, let's really look at them. Well, this is obviously already—he's already grown up. He, he's already met Sophia. They had their child. Um. Well, they're embarrassing the kid, so that's very nice. Also, we had some good time, graduation, soccer, or football. Sophia's playing the piano. He's playing the cello. Kid's got a job. Seems pretty typical. Oh, and yeah, I do have to play a snail to. Oh, it's, that's that's the door for the guy who will never ever talk to me again. Hey, she got a teddy bear back. Huh? You got your bear back? Yep, a nice lady in a brown dress swooped into the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water. You should lay off the sugar, kid. Ain't good for your head. Ma said if I ever get bored, I could just potate. What does that mean? I'm potating! Yay! She's so chirpy. The kind of name is potato anyway. Maybe, maybe her mom really did play for the older one. Down already? He didn't die on you, did he? No, she. Who hired you? <laughs> Every time I see you, folks, I know another room's about to go. And oh, this again. Okay. Can I try this one? Nope. There wouldn't be wouldn't be no point. Okay, where did I park the car? Oh, that's the lady, the lady that swooped in and saved the teddy bear. Her name's Bonnie. Who's dying, dear? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. That golden tag. You are from Sigmund. If you're here, then someone's time is up. Colin Reeves. Do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me here every day. Please do your best for him, dear.、Uh, you sound awfully calm about it. If I were your friend, I'd be worried. After years of seeing everyone around you go, it's hard not to be. But then, you of all people should know that well. That's kind of true. The days are getting colder, but that's what sweaters are for. I don't care much for cliches, but I finished knitting one for my granddaughter yesterday. There's not much I can do at this age, but at least I can protect her from the cold. Yeah, that's a grandma thing to do. I can't knit sweaters though. Okay, nice talking to you. How's the other kid? Is she gonna be around? Well, if she is, she's probably not gonna be happy to see me. Well, I do wish she can 
walk a little faster. Okay, I'm glad the other kid didn't trash my car. Company car, of course. Dag damn it, did I leave it in the office? Oh no. You're kidding me? Hey, it's uh Roxy. Hello. Rox, it's me. Nail! Still hiding your caller ID? Getting calls from unknown feels like I'm in a horror movie, you know? What's your favorite horror movie? My bad, I'll turn it off next time. No, I love the suspense. Every time I'm like, am I getting cursed? Are the fans coming after me? The excitements are endless! Um, alright, anyways... Look, are you still at the office? I think I left the patient's file on the printer. Oh, okie dokie, pocket loki. Just give me a moment. Hey, you got a file? Eva, I think I forgot it back at... You what? Don't worry, I caught Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send over a scan. Okay, just take care of it. Do we have a receiving machine though? Did you find it, Rox? Yep, it was just sitting on your table after all. Great, just scan it and... Wait, my table? You're in my room? Yep, you asked me to get the files, right? I'm in front of the printer in the lobby. Oh, that was him. How did you get into my room anyhow? I locked it. Oh, the girl's got her ways. Okay, look, j just get out of there and send me a scan, would you? And don't touch anything, I just organized it. Yep, yep, on it. She's in a good mood. Mm, not doing as she's told. Oh, she's gonna find a secret room. You guys got everything else you need? Yeah, you was configuring the machine right now. How's the weather out there? What? Is it nice out for a drive? I guess so. Nito, I think I'll just come over and get you the file in person then. What? Why? Just scan it and send over a copy. Well, we've got no patience today and it's boring here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry. I'll get there before you guys are done. See ya both then. Wait, rock! Dag that bit. Well, that's one way to solve it. Well, I think behind that is a just a separate memory machine that he uses for himself. And we. Oh, well, maybe we are actually going to solve some of the mysteries left behind by the Minnesotes. I actually didn't expect that. I mean, there were Minnesotes. I, I really doubted if uh, enough per enough people play those two little Minnesotes uh, to to actually have them follow up in the official sequel. How are we doing here? Good. Got my part down. How about the fire? You said Roxy is sending the scans. Uh, she said she's delivering it in person for some reason. What? That's wasting both our time and hers. Hers mostly, we can still start. Still, I mean, I know she's a bit cucumbers in the head and all, but... Whoa, language, Eva! No, cucumber is not a word you hear in civilized conversations. Anyway, we'll worry about her loopiness later. Shall we start? Alright, just get the patient equipped up.
Uh, Neil? Hmm? Never mind, we'll talk later. Your helmet is on the recliner. We're all set. And yes, we are. But first, allow me to save. Colin's condition is looking stable for the moment, but I would hurry. Okay, talk to everyone. What are you waiting for? Might as well as might as well as start at this point. You sound like we're about to poison him. I mean, I guess he is technically already poisoned for the procedure. But I mean, not in a bad way, sort of. It's like alcohol is poisoned too, right? Anyway, I'm just gonna get to work. We are really bad at explaining things. Well, we were really bad at explaining things in a good way. Good luck. I hope you can accomplish whatever my father sent you out to do. I wonder if it has anything to do with the bird. I, I I guess not. Patient Neuralink established the systems online. Okay, let's get to work. Let's be professional. Game face. Commence memory traversal. I'm ready. Wait. Before you begin, could you tell me what you'll be doing in there? Uh, we're going through his memories to grant him his last wish, duh. I thought you already knew. Yes, I do know that, but... How? What will you actually be doing? Oh, is this for people who didn't play to the moon? Well... Uh, let's do elaborate. We actually don't do much. It's the machine that does most of the work. Says the technician. Who knows best. The machine calculates uh, permutations of possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. In the form of memories, of course. It's an illusion, but to him, it would be indistinguishable from a lifetime of real memories. However, the permutations the machine calculates will still have to be logically coherent. So it needs a starting point and a change in the key variable. And that's where we come in. We tunnel through his memories from the most recent to as far back as we need, drawing a line from now to then. We then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations for all the way to his past. So in his simulated life rerun, he'll make all the kick arse decisions and fulfill his own wish. Just by his own volition, is that enough? I'd have thought that fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. I mean. Can't you two just make whatever needs to happen, happen? I, I do want to hear this even though I kind of know. Perhaps, but one problem. He's not brain dead. There are a few things that I hope uphold the illusion of reality. Illogical happenstances aren't one of them. And since the world must still be self-coherent, we can't do more than simply influence him. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually. It's not a cave painting. There's little need for interference anyhow, willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life, time changes them. Motivations come and go, they will always start strong, then plateau, then fade. But in a simulation based on the memories, mental state of a single moment, stretched through a lifetime. Let's just say it's some powerful voodoo, Mon. Anyhow, no amount of volition is gonna help a dead man, shall we proceed? Yes, thank you for the explanation. I don't know what's gonna happen in there, but good luck. Thanks for lotteries. We are professionals. Oh, sharp words. See you on the other side. See, I've always have a question that maybe as like family of the patients that they the reason they might not want to uh, procure for this kind of service is. But the changes you make in his memories, there's a there's a certain risk that they themselves might be erased, right? Like River was almost erased from Johnny's memory, but because he felt so strongly for her, he brought her back in uh, as another person. But they they went, they kind of they kind of side sidetracked the to the moon sequence was a sidetrack to his life, and then they went back on board. That's kind of what happened. But let's let's say. 
call in here if, if something whatever he tried to do whatever we had to do for him there's a there's a risk that Sophia or his son here could be forgotten entirely just because of some decision that he has to redo uh, but you know what this it's I guess it's mostly the patient's wish I mean if he wishes to to uh, purchase the service then well nobody else is really in a place to interfere I mean they wouldn't know either way patient is stable and ready I just had another odd thought I'm sorry for interfering the gameplay so much just to share my odd thoughts but this could so easily be a scam right I mean maybe this is what all the protests are were about in the Minnesos I mean who could be in there to verify that they actually fulfilled the wish a uh, doctor could well they, they were in there the last time to to see the rocket ship take uh, take off and all that but most of the time I assume they just put on the helmet they wait until the patient died and they come back and the same mission accomplished and they have to take their word for it Initializing memory traversal sequence in three, two, one. I wonder if we have to complete some kind of silly puzzle this time. Oh no, it's black and white, and it's pure white. Okay, we're at the end of his life. Latest accessible memory. Alright, this should be Colin's last accessible memory. Yeah, and check out the raining heavy sleeper champ over here. Leave that memory of her alone. She's not our client. By the way, I wanted to ask earlier. What's with the helm you put on our patient? Hmm? The equipment, it looked different. Oh, I just removed the casing during maintenance, that's all. Then why didn't you put it back? Hey, that reminds me. Did you know I added a new feature? New feature? Behold! Never mind, forget I asked. Hi, uh, I don't know what he's doing. What the hell? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Mid part timeless. Oh wow, wow! Just why? Ah, uh, I like nineteen twenties. Hipster stag, Amish paradise, rich oil baron, smooth yet manly. Hipster stash. Amish parrot you know what this is just too much I, I think I'll keep it smooth yet manly you know I, I don't know I, I'm kind of just used to him that way what do you mean socks am I supposed to be seeing his socks I don't care tomato pattern dead so are we ever gonna see this gold trimming even blacker plain black dinosaurs Mithril? What, what do you mean Mithril? Like Mithril from the, the Lord of the Rings? The impenetrable armor but as socks? I'll take that. Oh, do we get to do Eva too? Ta-da! I barely changed. Just why? Well, I figured if we're gonna spend so much time working here, we might as well travel in style. We? Oops, did I say we? Sorry, I mean. Oh, wait, that's exactly what I meant. Tag, you're it! Nail, you son of a. Okay. Now we're gonna play around with the hair. Let's see, we. The original is long flowing locks, pragmatic bun sticks, saucy bangs. Uh, long flowing. Okay, they're just a. I think this one is cute. Face, classic Eva, grand mustache, wizard's beard, regal face carpet. Oh, this is just too good. I, I actually, I just don't expect this to stick anymore. 
bright teal giraffe print fuzzy chanuka. What is that? Cucumber pattern. More holden sock. Rainbow stripes. Rare silk. Plain white. Um, I think I'll take the whole thing. Oh, it'll be weird playthrough if Eva stays like this this whole time. What the? What the? Whatever that is, nail. Hey, don't blame me. It's the system that chose it for you. Oh, I'm the system. I have a role in this. Wow, the system is a. <laughs> and she's looking at me while saying that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't insult the system. That's not cool. Whatever, I'm changing back. Oh come on! It was a lot of work to implement. Besides, you owe me for what happened at the tofu party last month. Humor me for a bit. Ah, you did take a solid hit from me at the tofu party. The tofu party? I mean, the party in the Minnesota. It was, it was Neil who actually mopped uh, Eva in the face. Fine. I'll keep the look until we find Colin. Sweet, nice socks, by the way. Yeah, I'm okay with the socks. Really? The, the holy socks? You're okay? You're okay with that? Uh, yes, we know about the mechanism. Oh, let's turn off world interaction before we wake her up. Oh, so we've actually up to this point we have been arguing in full year shot. After all that, I'm surprised we didn't already. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Like that was pretty fucking reckless. It's not polite to stare. Sheesh, and she didn't seem to like us before. That's true. I wonder if there's anything we can do here. And it's the digital piano. It's all the same thing. Well, why wouldn't it be the same thing? This is like just a while before. Let's go find the client and ask him exactly what he what he wants. There he is, Colin. Whoa, what the? This isn't a stable copy. Let's find one we can talk to. Uh, what are we? The hell is going on? There is an odd instance of calling on the most recent memories balcony. Yeah, you don't say. All right. I'm kind of struggling between keep using keyboard or using mouse. It's easier to move with keyboard, but this is a point and click. So I want a point and click. Do I go upstairs or go outside? It's still full of books here. He must have cleared it very recently then. Cleared it? Yeah, when I checked this place in reality, it was empty except for an old one odd book. Which isn't here actually. Ooh, spooky. What about this place? An antique dust covered mirror. Right. Well, he's not here. Ah. Uh. Pretty sure the hall didn't look like this. Dude's so old he can't even remember his own home. But isn't the machine supposed to autocorrect these kind of spatial inconsistencies? Well. Oh, hey, look! I take it this mission is not going to go as they expect. Target acquired. Let's go. Oh, I thought you forgot. Nope. Ahem. <clears throat> Bleh. Alright. Uh, this is not that different anyway. Thanks. Turning on entity interaction.
Colin? My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline. I'm a memory traversal specialist at Sigmund Corp. And my colleague here is Dr. Hatan. Dr. Man Hatan. Oh, I get it. You're Dr. Neil Watts. Holy shit. Colin is not your usual client. How did you know? Your name tag. This isn't what it looks to be, is it? He's very self-aware. Yes, Colin, your procedure has started. Good. It's not just me, then. Something felt off about this place. It's as if I'm both here and far away at once. Either this isn't where I think I am, or my head's going downhill faster than I thought. More like both, actually. Eh, fair enough. My wife and son, how are they handling it? They are there, right? Yeah, but they aren't prancing around, that's for sure. Although given the circumstances, I guess I'd be worried if they were. Listen, there's not a lot of time, and it's best if we get started. You're the most recent slice of calling that we can load up, and the only relatively reliable version that we can interact with for info. So. I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. Of course, why would I not? Good. I'll keep your state saved so we won't need to have this conversation again. Psst, run a save on his state. Yes, your highness. Oh, I feel saved already. Now, in order to help you relive your life here to fulfill your last wish, we are first gonna backtrack through your memories to connect your timeline. And then, we'll be able to transfer your desire all the way to your younger self. And run the algorithm for you to live your life here, all over again to fulfill your wish. Anyhow, Colin, we need your help. To jump into memories, we need mementos. They're items of importance to you that connect one memory with another. Do you have one here that we could jump with? Whoa, slow down! We still don't even know what his wish is. What is it that you want anyway, Colin? Actually, I think I can answer both of your questions with this. It's his Sigmund contract. The text is rather blurry, but... It is a memento. Sweet, let's move! What is his wish, though? This mementos barrier shatters by itself since it's so recent, but the next one won't be so easy. We'll need to charge it up first. Oh, let's look around, I guess. Uh, is there anything we should be doing? Can we knock on that guy? Absolutely not. Well, there's really nothing to do except to just go ahead. Alright, what is this? <laughs> Memories go the farthest when linked together? I'm just gonna try it. Uh... Whoa. Okay. Uh, I see what's going on. So if I... No, that's probably not good. That's interesting. A different puzzle. Alright, so, like, what? what is it? Uh, activate, please. Thanks. We might come back for your help again. 
What is the witch though? Wait, what? What the hell? Something just came up behind him. Alright, this is, I guess this is after he contracted the company. Wait a minute, this place. It's the Sigmund guest house. Ah, oh, where they whine and dine the geezers into signing up for the service. Sure been a while since I've visited. Looks a bit different from when I was there last year too. Let's check it out. Okay, find memory orbs. So this is a Sigmund facility, let's check it out. Requires one ball to proceed. Okay, which one? We're gonna need a ball for of some kind. I don't think it's gonna be on the road. Let's check the yard. Oh hey, look at that. What are you doing outside in the cold, Mr. Reeds? Your appointment is about ready. Please, right this way. Can I, I guess I can't catch up. Well, I got the orb necessary. Welcome to the Sigmund Corp guest house. Please have a set. Please have a seat in our living room. How does she know to talk right now? I mean, we're supposed to be invisible to her, right? Are we good to go? Why don't you sit back and enjoy some tea first? You must have come a long way to get here. I need to get back home soon. I'd just like to inquire about your service. Very well. Someone will be here to get you shortly. Right. Whoa, that's the memento. Oh, his hat! There's so much to the world, isn't there? Much more than one could explore in a single lifetime. Say, wouldn't it be nice to visit where you've always wanted to go? I've already been there, once upon a time. What does that mean? I don't recall the fireplace here looking like that. Okay, so things are a little different from reality, I'm guessing. So this is where they're going to have the interview. This photo is taken from the stage's perspective. Exhilarating, huh? How many people get to experience what it's like to be famous? We sure get a lot of requests for that. So if it floats your boat, consider it down. If we have to do another one of these, I'm gonna go take a nap. It's not so bad, at least we'd get it down fast and go home early. Nah, that's not gonna be it. We got a machine here. You see, our service is really quite simple. You tell us your wish and we make it happen. Fame, wealth, Unreached goals and secret desires, you name it. We are your genie, Colin. What is your wish? So, if I understand this correctly, you're saying I can't wish for more wishes. <laughs> oh, he's pulling his leg. You know, I've done a sin a lot in my lifetime. I've been to where I once thought I'd never be. Seeing what I once thought I'd never see. 
But in the blink of an eye, suddenly there's no more time. And I find myself here just like everyone else. I walk through these doors and I realize that there's still this empty feeling inside of me. I don't mean to be ungrateful to the life I've had, but I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know. I want to say I lived a happy life and I want to feel like I have few regrets. But somehow after all that, I still can't. That's why we're here, Colin. Just give us the word and we'll make it right. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? Regrets? I don't know what to tell you for regrets, but I can tell you what I want. I want you to make me live that fulfilling life I wanted. But I want you to do it without changing anything I've been through. You don't want us to change anything. Colin, changing things is what we do. We change things and we make them better. That's why you come to us, so we can make it better. We can solve your problems. Everything you wanted but couldn't have in this life, we can give you the chance to get it. But if you want to get something, you need to give up something. So I ask again, what do you want as your last wish? Very well. I want you to give me a fulfilling life while changing as little as possible. And if you have to change something, please just keep the memories of the life with my family intact. So you want to waive specific you want to waive specificity from the contra speci specificity. You want to waive fucking specificity from the contract. Fucking English, man. With something like that, I hope you know there are no guarantees of result. I'm aware. It's settled then. I'll put our best people on it. Thank you. That's all I ask. Whoa, this is gonna be a complicated one. He don't even know what he's missing. Try not to change anything, and we have the free reign over his fate. What kind of a last wish is that? I don't even know where to start. Eh, uh, we've seen worse. The important thing here is that the boss said we'll put our best people on it. We're the best people, Eva. Booyah! I don't think we're the original candidates, are we? Actually, about that. Never mind. Okay, I'm good. Let's go get the memento. <laughs> Didn't we just say we we are taking this job because somebody else is busy? Think we should go back to the last memory and ask Colin about what he said here. Can't recall expect. Can't really expect reliable answers from that. And but we might eventually have to try. We'll cross the bridge when we come to it, though. Let's just continue on for now.